Destination reached. Scylla. All right, all right, all right. We are here. Hopefully, we are able to go and find this uh, hermit that Victor is trying to find. So let's see what happens at this point. So the hermit is all the way over here. I got Victor and Ellie with me. I feel like both of them are a lot more... <laughs> better equipped to be in this mission compared to the others. My concern is once we reach the hermit, will we will we be able to find the answers that me and Vicar are looking for? I'm not sure. I mean, let's see because if we got here for nothing, then that would be pretty annoying. And I see all these robots here, so... Let's do some action, shall we? Oh, shit. The law have mercy on you. I won't. That's it? Damn, we got rid of Mad Machines so fast, then. Of course I'm gonna be scavenging. Don't judge me. Why wouldn't I? I mean, if I came here for nothing, I might as well just take advantage of these endless, endless amount of supplies that's just running around here. One yep, one down. Oh, shit! Burn to death. That's the way you do things. Now, of all the places that i visited so far in this game, let me know in the comments below which spot is your favorite. So far, I do enjoy... What was that? What was that? Uh, me? Let's go. My kind of Sometimes violence is the only way! Wow, that is a sick headshot from the priest, nonetheless. Like, I'm pretty... I'm pretty shocked. That's the last of if these weapons were ever legit in real life, do you know how many people would be gone in an instant by how reckless people can be? It's bad enough that we have horrible gun control over here, so just imagine scientific weapons. Okay, I don't see anything else or anyone else for that matter, so. Never anger a man of the cloth. I just love how we're shooting anything and everything in our way. This is my favorite weapon, by the way. You can never go wrong with a machine gun. So if you ever do decide to purchase the game, try and find a weapon like this and upgrade it as much as possible. Alright, so the Hermit is here. Alright. Wow, this is a nice little place. Oh, hello. What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris. Wow, that's do mean. I actually believe you are here seeking the truth. I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. Damn, are you that bored? We're here to get this book translated. Max. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I've spent my life in contemplation. 
I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. We've come a long way to help Max get some peace. Is there anything you can do to help? There is one way that can speed up the process. Go on. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. What? It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. Uh, when you say ingredients, you mean drugs, right? A crass way to put it, but yes. Chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. What happens if you're unprepared? Either hallucinations followed by unconsciousness and a headache, or raving insanity, which can be fun in its own way. Fun? Uh, well, Max just said he was prepared, didn't he? And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. I'll supervise, for safety purposes. You do that. I'm in. All right. Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. Wait a minute, we're doing this- You're doing this for free? Okay. All right. Up, oh, wrong room. Oh. Wow, this is a very beautiful place to meditate. As far as the drugs, um... Okay, I'm ready. Moment of truth. Let's breathe deeply. Am I high? Whoa! Maximilian, why are you still doing this? You've been fighting against the world since before you left home. Haven't you figured out yet that the more you fight, the more pain you cause yourself? Mother, you're dead. You can't be here. I knew this was too good to be true. These are just cheap hallucinogens that have... Uh, 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 Max, Vic, you good? What's happening to my voice? Does my voice sound weird to you? And what's wrong with your face? Let's stay focused here, Max. Your voice always sounds weird. The fact that Ali is the sober one in this room says a lot about the situation. If she's a hallucination, why am I seeing her too? We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated. Uh, I mean, we're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out. Always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place. Never looking inside himself. We came here so you could learn how to not be an ass, Max. So... Stop being an ass. Ellie, I'm done with you. You're funny. Okay, so we came all this way. We ought to at least hear her out. Thank you. It relieves me to see there's at least one positive influence in my son's life after all these years. Has he told you how he thoughtlessly abandoned us? No, he did not, actually. Thoughtlessly? How could you say that? I only wanted you and father to be proud of me. I was going to be the perfect vessel. I was going to be a better... Uh, more full of the plan. This year, it, it's all coming out wrong. The plan. It filled you with a joy I could never feel. I wanted it. And being a laborer made me miserable. I was better than that. You certainly convinced yourself you were. But don't feel bad. We continually lie to ourselves, weaving stories in a vain attempt to convince us that we are in control of anything. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. 
Hmm. Your mom's right, Max. Your story blinded you to the truth and landed you in prison. What the fuck are you talking about? Didn't your story push you to study banned works to unlock the secrets of the plan? No, I just wanted to prove to my parents that I... That... I, damn it. You're right. Max, you need to lay the past to rest. What happened with your father and I is long dead. To obtain your goals, you must live in the chaos. Be fine with the chaos. Whether you resist or not, it will take you wherever it wants. More assuredly than even the fictional architect's plan you slave away to prove. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's... It's... It's just a farce, right? Just... Just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be all right. Whoa! What Hello? the hell? He's what? literally talking to himself. Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined. Controlled. I have no doubts. And I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? If he does, he shouldn't. He's a better man than he gives himself credit for. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you, Captain, but I just... I don't know. Is it wrong to try to be a gooder, better person than I am? But that's not what you're doing, is it? You're desperately trying to find a story to organize reality in your head. A story to control everything. A new story of the happy you. The contented you. Me. That's not... Uh, it can't be right. I, I've only been searching for the answer to the equation. Because it will set us free. Won't it? How? By removing the need to make any decision. To have your life completely controlled. The illusion of certainty. Your obsession allowed you to avoid the real question. Who are you? I'm Max. Me. I'm real. You can't convince me otherwise. Please don't convince me of that. Can we try to convince him otherwise? Sure, Billy. So you're going to convince Max he's not real? This should be interesting. The concept of Max is what's not real. By the architect. Architect. How could I have believed in an architect? That's ridiculous. I must be losing my mind completely. What you're saying almost makes sense. We exist inside our thoughts, thinking we're in control. That's it, isn't it? We have no control over anything. It's all lies. How could I not have seen this? But how do we escape our ourselves? You're doing great, Max. Do you think the hermit would mind if I throw up on the <laughs> Bye, I'm done. You're doing great, Max. Do you think the hermit would mind if I throw up in the corner? I see you're back with us. 
Feared we lost you there. Oof, it was rough. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. Is that a compliment? Uh, what happened? I woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting, I'm experiencing. Everything is perfect. Wow, um, I'm, I'm glad you found the answers you were looking for, Max. In a way. Perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality. Clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. There may be something to that. You seemed happy, or at least not angry. I am content. I finally found what I was looking for, even though I was looking for the wrong thing. Wow, I definitely learned something too out of this whole experience. What did I tell you? Harlow's down with a man stick was just an act. No one who yammers that much means half of it. Don't sound too excited. That was Felix's friend. Obviously not. And better for Felix to know that now rather than become the next Trask. Just because Harlow turned out to be court doesn't mean everyone's like that. Don't get all mushy on me now. Come on, what did we just learn? People look out for their own interests. It's a fundamental law of nature, same as gravity and conservation of motion. You can't live your life thinking the worst of everyone. Sure I can. In fact, I bet you I live a lot longer. Ever consider that looking out for others can be in your best interest? I'm warning you, that reverse psychology stuff doesn't work on me. Even you never really go it alone. You usually throw a lot in with a crew. Sure do. And unlike you, Captain, the rest of us don't get a big fancy room with wall-to-wall -wall windows. But let's forget about that, please. Anyway, you really want to tell me you're helping the scientist because you think he'll save the colony? As a matter of fact, I am. And here I thought I'd seen it all. This galaxy must be bigger than I'd thought. Speaking of lost causes, there's something I've been meaning to get around to. Yeah? What's that? I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Wow, well, funny, you don't strike me as the type who keeps in touch. Which brings us to where we are today, several messages and a few years late. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. And now you just want to catch up with them. Yeah, exactly. You know what? I'm proud of you, Ellie. Of course you should co reconnect with your parents. Reconnect is a strong word. And, uh, I was thinking you'd come too. What? Why would you want me to meet your parents? Because it would be fun. Level with me, Ellie. What's this really about? It's, well... They know me as Marilyn the Surgeon. They don't know Ellie the Pirate Sawbones. But you, your authentic rabble, true riffraff, when they a see what? you, they'll get it. Is that a compliment? So you want to show your peep friend off to your fancy parents, real, real mature. Come on, I didn't leave home and become a pirate because I enjoy making responsible decisions. It's not going to get weird, is it? Of course not. I mean, not unless you want to bring a feral canid or a mantis on a leash. That'd make a real impression. 
Okay, we'll go. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. Mm. What? Oh, and help yourself to the good snacks and put your feet on the coffee table. Mother hates that. It's almost like you want me on my worst behavior. That's the idea. Anything else? What can you tell me about Byzantium? It's like one of those stuffy art gallery pieces. Looks okay from far off, but once you get close, you realize it's just some mismatched shit everyone's agreed to overpay for. Even the bribes are overpriced. So Stamford, okay. <laughs> why did you leave? The real question is why didn't I leave sooner? There's all these invisible rules, and everyone spends all their energy just trying not to break them. It's called society. Call it what you want. It sucks. I was a top-tier surgeon, but I could hardly open a pack of gauze without ten people signing off first. So you had to deal with red tape. What of it? That's no way to live. People call Byzantium the jewel of Halcyon, but really, it's just paste. Everything's polished and bureaucracy. Take a close look and you'll see it's deader than anywhere else in the colony. Must have been interesting growing up there. Interesting like a colonoscopy. Mm. I trained as a surgeon. More my folks' idea than mine, but I made the best of it. Sounds like there's a but to this story. Lots of them, unfortunately. I even sculpted a few. Turns out Byzantines are more concerned with having square shoulders and a good profile than, well, anything else. I need the lay of the land. Anything I should know? Don't trust anyone. Don't touch anything. And whatever you do, don't show your teeth when you smile. Why not? People are extremely competitive about cosmetic dentistry. It can get ugly. Enough about Byzantium. That's what I've been saying. If we're going to work together, I'd like to know more about you. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. Do you have much experience contracting out with other captains? Sure do. Some of it was even legal. You weren't joking about being a pirate. What gave it away? It's the hair, right? Or maybe the ammo belt? I had it custom made. Wait, you want to look like a pirate? Gotta advertise your business somehow. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. Huh. Well, as long as you know, I've never been much of a rule follower. Makes two of us, Captain. All right, let's get back to business. No complaints here. Uh, well, let's go. So, have you found your answers? Not so much found as finally listened. Yes. It is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. So, we should go. <laughs> I'm heading out, let's go. Vic, are you good? As always, I am at your disposal. Anything you'd like to discuss? Well, during the experience of the Hermits, you seemed um, somewhat at odds with your mother. I wouldn't say my parents disowned me, strictly speaking. But before they died, they accused me of thoughtlessly abandoning them. I couldn't understand it. I was only trying to make them proud by becoming a better vessel for the plan, to feel the joy they felt. I was so certain my potential was wasted as a laborer, and was willing to risk everything just to prove to them that they were wrong. I was lost, misguided. Hmm. 
Tell me again about the book we picked up that's in French. Bocconu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Okay, well... I'll think it over and get back to you. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. That looks like planet Earth a little bit. And as far as meeting Ellie's parents, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. Let me just check on um, Provardi, see how she's doing. Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. Sure. What do you need? I was thinking about what you said before, after we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and and ask Junle to go steady straight out. <gasps> and I'm thinking of doing it here on the ship. Uh-huh. Okay, bringing her home to meet the family, huh? Bold move. Oh gosh, do you think so? I just figured, you know, there's nowhere she can go on Groundbreaker where folks don't know her. Here she can relax. Good for you. Any way I can help? I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all mm. covered in engine grease and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for gas supplies. Okay, easy enough. We could head straight over. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to come with. In that case, this gives me an excuse not to go to Byzantium right away. Thank goodness I talked to Pravardi. Let's go to Groundbreaker. Uh-huh. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Of course they approve our request. Why wouldn't they approve at all? Uh, let me see here. Let me just change my... My little... Quest a quick second. Okay, perfect! So, I'm definitely gonna help Pravardi with some bath supplies. That way she can impress herself with her little date. This is gonna be so cute. I'm excited. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.